Good Sunday afternoon. It is Melody with Dream Enough Bling. Um, coming on with just a little uh, little video of an unboxing. I went a little crazy and started ordering some some beads and some stuff. And this is my Jesse James bead haul. Um, I saw a tutorial with them with Neely Patel and he did the all heart um, and I just I saw it and fell in love with it and then when once I got a one I saw some most wonderful things so um, this is actually two hauls in one because I did the Dakota stones which is um, the green and blue the these right here um, and then I saw the Preciosa crystals and I thought well I just got to have some of those and then I get one I got a one because I originally got on just for these two right here uh, the JJB love strand and the all heart strand after watching Neely Patel's uh, tutorial and then when I got on um, I saw these and it was the cherry blossom so I think this one's the mini mix but I'm not sure um, this one's the mini mix and this was the, the strand and you guys know I mean those who follow me on on my Facebook know I just love boho beads really really love boho beads um, but what first caught me was the, the Dakota stones I my favorite color is blue and I just absolutely love these blue stones they are beautiful beautiful stones let me see if I can get it up here a little higher I love the different different colors in this strand I mean it's this one is amazing to me this one has swirls going through it I love the feel of the stones absolutely love it and I gotta tell you the whole thing for the cherry blossom was I got this this strand right here and I don't know I must be going back to a time when my kids were little and my daughter watched the movie Fern Gully but I saw this Dakota Stones strand and I tell you what I just absolutely fell in love with this because it reminded me so much of the colors in the movie Fern Gully and I just put these two side by side and thought, oh, something's got to come with this because this is just like so many natural earthy colors. And it just reminded me of the rainforest. So, you know, something's coming with that. And of course, you know, when I heard we were doing the Preciosa um, crystals, I just, I thought, well, I got to have something sparkly. And I loved the sapphire blue. This one's called, what's one here? So, oh, Sapphire Dreams. And I really, really loved that one. And then, of course, you know, got to have some of that sparkly pink. You know, and this one is called Light Pink Rose. Very, very pretty. So, I want to get in for a few minutes. So I bought these two together because, well, I fell in love with this bead right here. That bead right there. I love the design on that bead. And then, of course, the boho beads. But that one right there um, just screamed my name. It just screamed my name. So let's get into... What's here inside of the design mix design elements mix all heart by Jesse James Beats. So let me set these aside. Oh my gosh. Little beads just going everywhere. So I already made something today and um, threw a bead across the room. So, you know, I was trying to pick it up with the bead and needle and it literally spun and threw across the room. So I've already had fun throwing beads. So first thing I see is all these beautiful asymmetrical shapes love this one I love I love asymmetrical even though 
you know, I'm not real good because, you know, everything has its place. Everything has its order. So I, I struggle with asymmetrical designs. And normally in these mixes, it looks like everything comes in twos and fours. So I absolutely, and sorry if my hands get in the way. This is the first time I've used this webcam. Um, I got a new one because the other one kept uh, focusing in and out. And we called the company and the company said, oh, it's you, not us. So I went and got a document camera so that I could point down and, and show the bead mat um, more than me. Um, when I do actual selling, I I show my face a lot more, but with these. Um, so, you know, of course we get all the little tassels, love all the little tassels. Um, normally I hold them aside because my granddaughter has started um, beading. And so I hold all the little tassels because she really likes to make earrings out of those. Um, so that's my, I hold my tassels for her, um, my acrylic beads for her, um, anything sparkly acrylic I, I hold for her. I give her some glass beads, um, you know, cause she's young. She's, she's still, um, still young. Oh, and look at these little pink rondelles. Let's see if I can get it up close and little pink rondelles. Let me hold it behind my hand so that it'll focus with little rondelles, silver rondelles with um, pink rhinestones. Very, very cute. Um, oh, and I love these. And these, I had four of these little drops. Very satiny looking, very shiny. I love the fact that I can pass on the excitement of beading to the next generation. Um, this is a little charm that was in there. I love this charm. It's another thing that drew me to the mix was this charm. Um, Cause I love flowers and butterflies and you know, anything that might look like it's in a rainforest. Um, lots of little bead caps. I love these. I thought these would be so cute to maybe put a jump ring on. These are actually a bead and maybe string a, a I actually have one right here and I could probably do it real quick just to show. Make a little pair of earrings with them. If I can get the little bead. This is what happens when you get old. You can't see little teeny things. So look at that. Just like that, we put a little bead inside the little little flower so so cute i love i love all these elements i'm just so excited um so i got two of those so that could make a nice pair of earrings oh look at these ones these ones are cute i love those those little beads um and of course i got a good amount of everything in here to make all kinds of, I mean, there's lots of things you can do with this. I have something in mind because, you know, of course, loved that bead right there. You know, that kind of matte hot pink with the white flower on it. I love that one. So I got that fern gully thing going on in my brain. So let me see if I can scoop these up without throwing them across the room or slide them into the floor. But I, I'm really excited because, um, you know, with my granddaughter beading and she sent me a couple pictures of things she's done and I'll, I'm going to post some of those on my Facebook page just so on my Dreaming of Bling page. Um, she was really excited because she was making some some ones with like names and phrases on them with the little letter beads that I bought her. And um, it's really funny because she was selling them to her brothers. And she ran out of stretchy cord because I've, I've been teaching her how, you know, she was, well, not been teaching her. She kind of taught herself. Um, she ran out of stretchy cord, so she was selling them to her brother so she could go buy more stretchy cord to make more, more bracelets. So that's when I kind of raided some of my stash and took them over to her. And so that she would have a nice little amount of stuff that she could get. 
um, I have in mind Jesse James Bead's the the love uh, design mix, the love love myself design mix. They have a butterfly one that that is screaming my granddaughter's name. So I'm probably gonna place an order just so I can get her some of those. It's got butterfly wings in it and stuff. So I'm thinking about doing that for her. So that's the first thing with these these two mixes. Sorry guys, it's taking me a little while to get some of these little ones up off the bead mat. So it's very, very exciting. I'm very excited to get to share this with her and her sister and even her brothers because her brothers are very excited too. So I did get some of the soft flex, um, which it looks peachy here, but it's actually like a almost a hot pink. Um, the soft flex wire. Um, I've not worked with this before, but I really, really saw a really neat um, video on how to use it. And then the other thing I got, I got some silver silk um, in an antique white color. So I'm thinking, you know, make a nice necklace. I saw a tutorial on how to do that. So I'm thinking about making a necklace with that. Um, oh, lost some beads. Beads are running away. But the cherry blossom and the Preciosa and the Dakota stains was really, you know, I went in for the, the love mix and, um, but when these caught my eye, I really am looking forward to making gonna set the blue aside because of course you know the blue that's my favorite color but um haven't really got anything in mind for those ones but these three right here in the mini mix and the soft flex and it's more of a a bright rose pink soft flex because it looks peachy on here but it, on, on the video but it's not it's really not um so these three strands the Pristiosa pink, rose pink the dakota stones greenish i i'm i'm telling you it's calling my name the fern gully movie i may have to go watch it just so i can get inspiration on, on what i really want to make um but i absolutely love because just by itself they're strands you can just restring it and make a beautiful necklace just like that but of course you know me I'm gonna add a little more bling to it a little more oomph so this is the cherry blossom mini mix and I'm gonna dump it out hopefully not roll it all over the place and look at these lovely little flower um, tassels you know how J Jesse James Bees loves their flower tassels. So immediately I thought of my granddaughter because she, you know, she's making those earrings. But I may keep a, the deep rose ones and try and make something with them. Just to see if, you know, because I, I don't use tassels very much. But I may have to with these because they, they're just so beautiful. And of course it comes with a beautiful boho. Loving that. It's got like a whole bunch of little drops in here they make cute little earrings and then it's got some crystal drops larger ones that are faceted so that's very sparkly and then some matte uh let me move my fingers out of the way for a minute let me set that outside so that, uh. and then oh i love the little charms that are in here now i know there's another one like that because i just saw it and then there's two of these little charms. Let me show you that one. There's two of these ones. And they're smaller. And I know there's two of these ones because I had it, I just had it in my hand, so I probably flung it somewhere. Two of these ones, which would make a cute little pair of earrings just by themselves, but add some beads to it. And then of course there's bead caps and there's little spacer beads. And I have to show you these little spacer beads because these ones are absolutely adorable they're like a rose gold um, sparkly finish 
trying to get the camera to it's not doing it justice right at the moment and then these ones I love the earthy tones in these in this mix because everything's so earthy looks like it came right out of the rainforest oh and I love these they're little fluted flowers um, acrylic flowers I believe they're acrylic, but I'm not sure. But how cute would it be just to string that drop right up in there? Just like that. Oh, just so beautiful. And then you add, oh my gosh, and I love the little like earthy green nuggets. Very asymmetrical. You can see that in a bracelet. So I am loving, loving, loving. I love these ones too. These are the, and these ones, they're a faceted, but they, they're green with like a, like a goldish matte to it or overlay. Very, very beautiful. Can't wait to use those. And I thought I could make a couple of earrings with those little fluted flowers from my granddaughters. Um, but it's at, oh, there it is. There's that other. So this is the mini mix. Um, as you can see, very earthy. Um, a lot of little bumpy spacers and bead caps. And it's very earthy. Um, I absolutely love Jesse James beads. Beads. I mean, I, I use a lot of other beads, but they're, they're kind of, you know, they're kind of my first love because you know they're they're the ones that got me started in this um taking the destination north pole classes um and i have just had a ball learning um all the things i've diff i've learned um you know so this has just been a great journey um can't wait to get started so you know you'll probably see some finished products in the next couple of weeks using all these um as long as my full-time job doesn't take me out of town again for a month so um because this is what i do relax after i get off work i make jewelry it's fun so let me get off of here and i'll see you in the next video when I show you what I've completed. Talk to you late, later guys. Have a wonderful afternoon.